uh, we continue the discussion of uh, dimensional homogeneity and try to do uh, carry out a, an example an exercise and we see that each term of an equation have the same dimension so uh, there are two things that we were mentioning one is each term should have the same dimension of an equation the second is that both sides of the equation should have the same dimensions and we can later on we will see that how we can make uh, things non dimensionalized that is each term because becomes uh, dimensionless and how to do that very simple technique but we come to that later first we try to work out this example the bernoulli's equation is p plus half rho v square plus rho g z is equal to constant so it can be written in different forms sometimes we divide throughout by rho sometimes not but they are all equivalent forms of bernoulli's equation that we have come to know now that it is given in the present form we have to see in this question that each term has the same dimension and when we say the same dimension i mean the primary dimensions that we just defined so that's the question verify that each additive term in the bernoulli equation have the same dimension and what are the dimensions of constant c so the right hand side should have the same dimension as each term on the left hand side because that's rule of the game if it is not so we have a problem so the bernoulli's equation as written p plus half rho v square plus rho g z and its dimensions can be computed can be calculated uh, which are not uh, very difficult now let us see the first term which is pressure pressure is equal to force per unit area and force is mass into length per time square as we have seen divided by since it is pressure is force per unit area and what is area area is length square either it is length into breadth or length into length so it will be length square in as far as the dimensions are concerned when we simplify all of them the term the dimensions of the term reduce to m by t square times l the second term half rho into v square half is a constant so it will have no dimension rho is density which is mass per unit volume times v square and velocity is distance over time square so they will have the relevant dimensions for density we have mass over volume and for velocity we have length over time square when we simplify them and cancel out the neutralize the terms that do with each other and the simple we are left with m over t square in 12 and the last term in the bernoulli's equation on the left hand side is rho g z is equal to mass over volume then times g is length over time square the same as that of acceleration because g is acceleration due to gravity times the height the length simplifying them it again it also reduces to m over t square l so all these terms have the same dimension as we have seen and for the right hand side from the law of dimensional homogeneity that is the equation on the left hand side and the right hand side should have the same equations therefore c will have the dimensions mass over t square times l so they are the same and if the dimensions of any term were different from the others then that should have alarmed us that there is a problem and we need to address that all terms should have the same dimensions